The 80th legislature transferred the procurement function from another agency to this office, a transition which took effect September of 2007. It goes without saying that the state of Texas buys a lot of things. We have begun the intricate process of digging through the $1.2 billion that the state spends per year through this division. And in phase one of our efforts, we looked at five spending categories to see if we could get a better deal for the state. We expect to save $28 million in phase one of the smart buying initiative. The projected cost avoidance and savings represent, on average, more than 8% of state spending in these categories, with some categories having much higher rates of savings. So far, we have just scratched the surface of what we can accomplish. There are 175 classes of items yet to go through that this division purchases. But let me share with you some specific examples of what we've done and how. Road asphalt. When TxDOT needed road aggregate or asphalt for projects, the state used to solicit hundreds of bids per year for that material. But this month, my division will finalize a contract with about 100 vendors across the state that TxDOT can use at any time during the year. By negotiating and locking in prices, we expect to avoid about $9 million throughout the year in additional costs. Also, of course, the administrative staff that would have been needed to process the hundreds of bids can now work on projects to save money elsewhere. Secondly, state fleet vehicles. Contract negotiations on state fleet vehicles will allow the state to save about $5.7 million. And for the first time, we will be calculating the comparative price of vehicles to include 100,000 miles of fuel costs. This means we're going to be looking at how much it will cost the state to operate a vehicle over its lifetime rather than just how much it will cost to drive it off the lot. And in these days of fluctuating gas prices, prices calculating vehicle purchases in this way ultimately increases the state savings. This also enhances the competitiveness of fuel efficient vehicles by accounting for their lower operating costs. This is exactly what families do when they're shopping for cars. What does it cost today? What will it cost me each month to fill it up and drive it? And our requirement to make state agencies compute the cost of filling the tank is the first time this has been required. And we think this is very important. These examples reflect the fact that we're buying smart and looking for the best value possible. We have a team of experts constantly comparing prices and creating strategies to guarantee that we buy smart in Texas. The state of Texas is one of the largest purchasing entities in the country and we need to make that leverage work for us. We should always try to negotiate a better deal and never be afraid to ask for a better price. It's just common sense. For years, families have bought in bulk to save money and state government should have the option to do the same. In a few weeks, we will be launching a new online shopping cart available not only to statewide agencies but also school districts, river authorities, cities and counties, to name just a few governmental entities. And the name of our new online ordering system is Texas Smart Buy, and it will be operating just like online shopping at the best known e-commerce sites. Just as you go online to buy books, local governments will be able to go online and buy supplies and equipment, saving them time and money. Texas Smart Buy will allow agencies, public universities, and local entities to search for goods and services, compare prices and specifications, and then order directly from the site, all with point-and-click convenience.